bag number one. Bag number two. Box number three. Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Vanessa, Nessa, Sessa, Yaya V, all of the above, depending who you are. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be doing my Sephora VIB sale today. Um I went a little crazy so I'm gonna jump into it because I really don't want this video to be long um, and I already opened a few a lot of the items I've already opened because I did want to try them out because um, I didn't want to just sit here and be like I bought this I bought this I wanted to be able to say something about some of the items that I purchased so you will see that I've already opened a few let's start with the smaller bag and then we're gonna move to the bigger bag and then we're gonna move to the box okay the first thing in here that I want to talk about is the Tatcha Rice Wash. Um, I've used this wash before and I have another, their, their Total Cleanse um, face wash that I've also used that has lasted me like probably a year, a year and a half because it's the one that has kind of like a scrubby exfoliate beads in there so i don't use it all the time but i'm finally running low on that i i tend to switch out my cleanser pretty much so i wanted to give this a shot i want to like incorporate more of tatcha skincare into my skincare routine because i'm primarily uses like rihanna skincare and then i'll add my actives in there but i kind of want to switch things up and i think tatcha is a safe route to go so you guys will see me kind of try this out a little bit goes a long way and it just doesn't uh, strip my skin when i'm done using this um however my skin feel cleansed so you know i just started using it so i can't say too much about it it's just it's gentle it's a gentle creamy face wash it's the most that i can say really i did pick up the soft pinch dewy liquid blush by rare beauty i have one of this already in the shade love and i've had it for i think a year at this point and i've been wanting to try other colors from them but they're always sold out i also use this color this is in the color grateful i don't know if i said it already um and it's kind of like a corally a hot corally blush um, these blushes a little bit goes a long way and when I use this uh, definitely all you need is like a dab on your cheek um, I do a dab each cheek and I just like blend it out but it's pretty much um, like very vibrant like corally orange color and um, I put this on my cheek I put on my lips I put it everywhere when I use this product so it's just one that's like I love it the other item that I did pick up from rare beauty is their warm wishes effortless bronzer stick these bronzer sticks people have been raving about these and I actually like ordered it online and then when I was in store I realized the color I all up the color that I ordered online was gonna be too uh, cool tone um, which is nice to contour but then I ended up purchasing another one in store that was warmer to browns and initially I was going to send one of them back but I decided to keep them you have the cool tone one and then the warm tone and you just twist it at the bottom and it you know comes up that's how that works and I this is very very creamy a very 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 creamy bronzer easy to blend out i do think it's beginner friendly because it's easy to just build the, the coverage to what you want and if you make a mistake and just put a lot you can just blend it out and go over it with your foundation brush it's very very easy i have other creamy bronzer in my collection i have the fenty i have this other one becca I have a few so this is nice like I said this is more like a everyday I just want to contour I can do that I also use my born this way uh, concealer stick I use out of contour I still love that if I'm going for a full beat but this is nice for like a everyday like I said moving on I'm kind of sad about this item because I picked up this summer Friday what is this the lip butter balm i have purchased this in the past in 
uh, I think the vanilla flavor or something like that it's just a clear clear uh, shade and I'm actually low now I keep that in my bathroom so whenever I do my skincare I can just throw that on but that's pretty much empty at this point and I wanted to pick up one of the other shades they were sold out and everything I typically like this corally tint anyways on my lips so when I saw this I grabbed it the next one is a Laneige lip that I can't find so I took this out because of course I want it for like an everyday and I've already lost it guys this is why I purchased so many of these but I did love this I purchased this in the past it's kind of like a go-to I have their sleeping lip mask I also have the Fenty skin uh, lip mask this one is more is thicker than the Laneige one so what I love about this is simply because you don't have to stick your finger in there you just twist it comes up and you scoop out what you need i really love that about this because of the sanitary purposes the Laneige one i just keep in my drawer it's kind of like if i'm on the computer or something like that and i need something for my lips or going to sleep i can use that but this one or any one of these are easy to throw in your purse i'm really sad about this i can't find it anywhere but i did pick this up and i highly recommend it if you're also looking for something like that so that's everything that's in this bag we're, we're kind of speeding we're you know keeping up here this i ordered i did like the same day delivery so by the way this is for the sephora vib sale if i didn't say that in the beginning the next item i've also used is this palette by huda beauty this is the empowered palette and i honestly like i had stuff in my car and then i went on my instagram page and i saw someone i'm following that posted the colors to this i wasn't planning on buying eyeshadow palette but when i saw this i was like i have to have it i haven't used it on myself but i have used it on my mother i was like you're not gonna even appreciate these shades that i'm using on you but very very creamy very very pigmented um the colors in here you have cool tone colors and you have warm tones you have shimmers mattes i just think it's like a nice everyday palette there's no like potent silver in here but you do have this color as you can see which is closer to the silver size called bold move um and i barely even touched it with my finger just now so it's just it's an expensive palette i think this is 70 dollars so it's i was like with the sale let me just give it a trial beautiful beautiful colors like so creamy and pigmented i look at that so pigmented i could probably use this to highlight too and now i have color on my hands sorry about that so let's move on just a typical eyeshadow not typical but just a a more expensive eyeshadow palette next up the next thing that i picked up is the glow recipe do drops i tried the sample of this uh from sephora so i've been wanting to pick this up since i tried it i can't really say anything as far as how it makes my skin in the long term but short term it just gives me a nice supple glowy skin i have this on right now i'm not wearing any makeup i just uh, did my skincare and then this is one of the products that i did use on my face it just gives you that instant glow so if you are going out it wears nice under makeup this is a glass bottle so pretty good quality it is a pump so i love that about this yeah it's just if you're going out you have an event that is a beautiful product to put underneath like on your base to really help your makeup glow if glow is what you're going for or as you can see on a plain bare face it still looks pretty pretty gorgeous so next item is this tatcha uh, silk serum the reason that i picked this up is because it had retinoid uh claims on there this is what it looks like as i mentioned in the beginning of the video i wanted to incorporate other skincare products tatcha is a safe zone if you are trying to find other things and th they have beautiful skincare overall so i picked up the silk what is it again silk serum my skin didn't have any reaction to this i've been using it for about a week now probably 
four or five nights out the week I've used it. Beautiful product. I can't really see much from it at the moment. It seems to be gentle because my skin, I didn't experience any tingling, anything like that. It was just an easy product to incorporate in my skincare. And I tried these products out different days, which is why I use that product about maybe five days out of the week. The face wash I've used before, so I wasn't concerned about that. But any other actives that I do add to my routine, I don't add two at the same time. I do it one at a time and just see how my skin reacts to it. Um, that takes me into the next product that I did pick up is this Paula's Choice uh, BHA Exfoliant. I've also tried this. I use this on its own apart from everything else. I just incorporated it in my basic skincare routine. Just since it is a 2% BHA liquid exfoliant, I wanted to make sure that it didn't, you know, what I said, uh, have a reaction um, has salicylic acid the cleanse is supposed to unclog and shrink in large pores uh, smooths and even skin tone lightweight liquid absorb absorb quickly I did use this with a cotton pad and so far I mean it's it's nice my skin feels I should pay attention to my pores and see what my pores look like I know you can technically shrink your pores but yeah I, I haven't noticed like a drastic thing from this i just like how my skin feel instantly after but once again you do have to use skincare for what what do they say about maybe three months to really start to see changes or stuff like that so i don't want to tell you guys that i've seen any changes when i haven't let's talk about this uh way body cream i don't know if i'm saying the name right i've seen people pronounce this differently i went on kathleen light's story and she was talking about this and she said that it just smells like a tropical vacation and that's exactly what it smells like it's very sweet definitely smells like um yeah like a tropical vacation in a jar I can smell pineapple in there because my sister and I was going over the smell of this. I can smell the pineapple. I can't smell much of the coconut unless I'm not picking up the scent. But it is very creamy. Uh, smells really good. The scent does last on you. It lingers. Like at least I can smell it on myself. I don't know if other people around you will smell it for hours. But it's definitely... It's not a scent that I say that I'll say run to the store and pick it up. It's a beautiful scent. Um, if you are looking for a scented lotion, I've also found like beautiful smelling scented lotion at Bed Bath and Beyond for uh, less than that. So um, it is a nice or even uh, the bum bum, the bum bum cream is a good smelling one, or a more affordable one would be I can't think of the name in the pink packaging. Soap and Glory also have good smelling creams. This definitely smells appetizing. Give you that. I, it's not something I'm going to smell and be like, oh yeah, run and go pick it up. It does smell amazing though. It smells good. Does that make sense? <laughs> the next item that I picked up is the Rare Beauty Illuminating Base. I saw Susan Yara here on YouTube. She was kind of uh, reviewing rare beauty or doing um, or skin reaction or makeup reaction to Selena Gomez and this was one of the product her makeup artist in the video um, raved about so I had to pick it up it's just a illuminating primer it is gorgeous under your makeup I've already used this and when I did my makeup with all these products I just loved the end result do you guys see that and you guys are like all the way back there so if you can see that glow from where you are it's glowing but it just looked like a product that you can also put on your face if you weren't doing a, a full makeup routine but um, wanted to have a glow you can also put that on so I do love it it feels creamy it dries down so it doesn't feel like tacky or oily or anything like that it just it feels um, feels really nice I don't think it's silicone based either just like a nice a uh, light primer that leaves your skin glowing so love that the next thing that i picked up was this body cleanser 
I actually didn't have this on my list of things to purchase, but when I purchased the lotion, um, my sister wanted the lotion, but she had mentioned this one. So I was like, well, I could try the body wash out too. So I pretty much convinced her to get the lotion. She convinced me to get the body wash, pretty much. I have used the body wash and it does smell really good. It's a body scented body wash. Um, I didn't notice too much of this smell lingering on me because I used the lotion. I do have to try, I only used this once yet. I do have to try it on its own and just see what what is doing you know i'll update you guys later if it makes it in a favorite video the last thing from this bag is this burberry perfume in her i do have this sample can a nigga catch a break give a my sister bought me a few things for my birthday and she had the sample in there. And I, it's a perfume that I actually been eyeing and heard great things about, I just never picked it up. But since she bought me the sample or had the sample in the bag, I was able to really wear it and then figure out that I actually wanted to purchase it. So I bought the full size and it smelled so good. <sighs> Um, how I describe the smell? I'm terrible at describing smells. Let me see if the notes are on here. It's just like a subtle, um, sweet smelling perfume. Smells clean. It's not super sweet. It's like medium, I would say. That's the best I can do as far as description. Don't ask me for more. Go look on the Sephora website and see what the notes are. We're almost there guys. The last thing is this box. So when I order a few things on, I don't even know what's in this box really because it's been that long. But let's see. Let me get a scissors. Scissors, bush We got four items in the box we'll speed through it the first item is oh the tower i forgot i ordered this the tower 28 lip jelly summer you know summer is coming this is in the color fire kathleen lights sold me on this as well therefore i wanted to try it out and i did try it in the store it feels thin it's not like a it's not like the fancy beauty gloss we'll see it definitely feels a little uh thinner than the fancy blue beauty like i said i love the fancy uh gloss bombs i've purchased tons of those so i wanted to try something else so i only bought one of that to see if i would pick it up it's not an expensive gloss so i don't feel the need to go ham during the sale the next thing i picked up is this pat mcgrath uh lip liner kathleen lights also recommended this she said that it was definitely worth the price and i picked it up in the shade contour i mean pat mcgrath beauty products are typically really well it is a cool tone liner but i'll try it out and see I tend to lose liners so fast. Let's hope I don't lose that. Next thing I picked up is, I forgot I bought this, the Rare Beauty Highlight in Exhilarate. Exhilarate, like, exhilarate, exhilarate, exhilarate. Anyways, uh, if you do makeup, if you love makeup, you know that this has been all over the goddamn internet, TikTok, everywhere okay and when it's been sold out also for a minute now so this is the shit that i was able to pick up the next one to this was too light for me um the shit that i actually wanted was sold out so i was like i'll settle for this i've tried it out like tested it out in the store so texture wise it feels very light very silky um it's not one of those gritties or glittery um highlighter it's one of those shiny highlighter that just gives you that ultimate it's right here just glow look i'm just gonna take literally one swipe and go here yeah so 
I'm covered in makeup. So of course, I'm excited to use this. Should I pull some of my nose right now? Let's do a nose. Ooh, wee. <laughs> okay, let's blend it out. Now I'm glowing like a rotisserie chicken. The last item in here, oh, I also forgot that I purchased this. I should actually try this on camera. This is the Rare Beauty um, Brightener. And of course, I've heard so many things about this. So I'm actually gonna try it right now. Um, this is the last item, so I feel like it's safe to try this on camera. This is in the shade Medium because everything else was sold out. So I'm gonna hold on to that packaging and see if I need it. It has this uh, metal tip that is supposed to depuff your eyes. It's supposed to be like a cooling effect. <gasps> Shit. And it's very drippy. Shit. <laughs> I got it on my palette. So let's just take what dripped off the palette and do this off. A little bit goes a long way. Okay, so is it a brightener? Absolutely. Look how bright under my eye is. I see rare beauty. Let's do a bronzer. See that? Look how easy that was to blend out. Let's do the blush. Let's set under our eye to see what that looks like. And boom. I think my camera stopped recording at some point. I don't know what point it stopped recording, but I did take the Rare Beauty um, liquid thing and put it on my lips and this is the final look anyways let's get back in my hand okay that wraps up this video guys this was fun to film i bought a lot of things and i can finally put them away link everything down below so check the description box if you have any questions comment down below um if you guys picked up anything from your vib sale that you think is a must please let me know other than that, I will catch you guys when I catch you. Stay humble. Follow me over on Instagram and turn on your notification bells. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.